<gasps> Hi everyone, I'm Mr. Derek and welcome to Inspired Arts. Today we will be learning how to draw a kitty. So let's get ready. Alright, so first let's do a quick supplies check. I have an eraser, I have my sharpie, or any black marker will do. I have my pencil. And today I'm going to be using color pencils. If you have crayons, you can go ahead and use crayons. If you have oil pastels, that's okay. So yeah, let's go ahead and get started. I'm going to put these up to the side. <clears throat> Alright, so let's go ahead and get started. I'm going to take my pencil. My first step is I am going to draw a circle. So I'm going to draw a circle somewhere in the middle of my page. About right here is good. And if you're having trouble drawing the circle, what you can do is you can use little dots and connect them to make the circle that is called plotting. So that's okay to do. So there is our circle. That is going to be the head of our cat. Alright, artists. Now our next step is I'm going to do a C shape on the side of my circle. So my C shape is going right over here. It doesn't have to be perfect, but this is going to be the cheek of our kitty. Alright, my next step is I am going to draw the body of my cat. So my body is going to be about the size of my head. So I'm going to use my fingers to measure my head. And I think my body is going to land about right there. My feet are going about right there. So I'm going to draw my body. It's going to be about half of the length. Alright, and I'm just drawing an oval for the body. So let's just go ahead and draw an oval for the body. Alright, and again, how big is the body? It's about as big as the head. Alright. So my next step is, let's go ahead and draw the ears. So for my ears, I'm just going to draw two triangles on top. Cats are one of my favorite animals. That's why I like drawing cats. Uh, cats are a really cool pet to have. Uh, how many of you guys have pets out there? I'd love to know. I would love to see them sometime too. Alright, so my next step is... Let's go ahead and draw the tail. So for my tail, I think I'm gonna make it a, almost like a question mark. Cats, uh, sometimes they curl their tail up like this. I kinda want my tail to curl up like that too. All right. Now I think my kitty needs some legs. So let's go ahead and draw the legs. I'm going to draw a rectangle right here. And this rectangle is going to go sideways like this, or diagonal. Alright, so my next step is I'm going to draw another rectangle. This one is going this way this time. And again, how, where do the legs go? Oh, uh, let's go ahead and make it about, about right there. About one head length down. These are looking great artists. I can already tell these are going to come out amazing. So my kitty only has one leg. I think I'm going to go ahead and draw the other leg right here. So my other leg will be another rectangle. This one's going to go this way. And another rectangle. Some artists. So now my cat has two back legs. Now I just need two front legs. For the front legs, I'm just going to do two rectangles. One, two. And this one can be an L shape because it's going behind this paw right here. Alright, these are already starting to look amazing everyone. So maybe uh, now that we've gotten pretty far in our drawing we can start to think about where we want our kitty I think I'm gonna draw my cat somewhere outside that sounds like it it'll be fun all right so my next step is I'm gonna do some detail in the face so for my eyes I think I'm gonna just draw two circles about in the middle of the face or in the middle of the circle <clears throat> artist. Now the next step is I'm going to draw an end shape right here. Just one end shape. 
And underneath the end shape, I'm gonna draw a heart. So this is going to be our kitty's nose right here. Next step is I want to draw the mouth. So my mouth is going to be almost like a W here. So I'm gonna draw a W for my mouth. I think for my eyes, uh, go ahead and draw whatever kind of eyes you want. If you want to draw the same eyes as me, go ahead and follow the steps here. I'm going to draw a frowny face in both of my eyes. And two dots. Alright, very cool. So that is about it for the drawing. I think next step is we could erase some of these details that we don't need anymore. So I'm gonna take my eraser, I'm gonna erase a few lines. So I'm gonna erase this line, this line, this line, this line. And I'm gonna take my eraser and go ahead and erase these lines. We don't need those lines anymore. And it helps if you draw very lightly too so that we can get these lines erased. Alright, very cool. Next step is I'm gonna go ahead and draw my background. Like I said, I'm, I think I'm gonna put my cat outside. So I'm gonna draw some grass right here. And my cat, he's gonna be in front of a fence. So I'm gonna draw these straight lines going up. If you want your cat at the beach, maybe, or maybe your cat is uh, going to the park, or maybe it's your cat, so you draw it in your room, or uh, maybe it's your grandma's cat, so you draw your grandma's cat in your grandma's house. Go ahead and be creative with it. All right, so the next step here is I'm gonna draw some detail inside of the ears. So for my ears, I'm gonna draw one more triangle inside. And one more triangle on the side. Awesome artist. Now there's some details in the body that we can erase too. So I'm going to erase this line and this line here. I'm going to put up my pencil and take my eraser and erase these lines here. And I can go ahead and erase these lines inside. So now that you have drawn your full cat and you've drawn your whole background, go ahead and take your Sharpie and outline all your pencil lines. So I'm working in the background first. and take your time tracing the kitty. If you need a little bit more extra time, then go ahead and pause the video. Alright, next I'm going to draw the face. One extra detail we can add to our kitty now is we can add the whiskers. So I'm just going to draw three whiskers coming out like this. <clears throat> and I think I'm going to add some spots to my cat too. So I think he's going to have a uh, black tail going this way and a black spot right here. Maybe another black spot right here. Awesome. Right, finish up the background. Once your background is all finished, go ahead and put up your Sharpies and let's go ahead and take our erasers and erase all of our pencil lines because we don't need those anymore. 
awesome. Now I think my cat is ready to be colored. So I have my color pencils right here. I'm going to go ahead and color my background first. I'm going to work back to front, light to dark. So here I go. I'm going to pick this orange color for the background here. And I'm taking my color pencil and I'm just moving it back and forth here trying to get straight lines using it on its side so I can fill in the background a lot faster. I'm still being very careful going around all of my shapes that I've drawn. Some of these white spots here I'm gonna go back in and fill them. Make sure all of your white spots in your background are filled in my friends. what color I can do for my cat. I'm thinking maybe uh, maybe a gray color. Gray and black. That would be cool. So again, maybe you have a cat and you want to do your cat. Maybe your cat is an orange color with black spots. Maybe it's a tan color with uh, gray spots or brown spots. Go ahead and draw your kitty. Or maybe there's a cat that you really like and you want to draw that cat. So go ahead. Got my background nice and filled in here. So next step is I'm working back to front. So I'm going to go ahead and work on my uh let's go ahead and work on my grass next. Some nice green here. And I'm gonna do the same technique where I'm using it on its side. Another technique we can do is we can go in little circles like this to fill in all of those white spots. So little circles or little eights, like the number eight. We can draw little eights. If we need to fill it in quickly, we can just use it on its sides such as this. We should all give our cats cool names. I think my cat's name will be... Hmm. My cat, I feel like my cat's name is Francisco. Francisco the cat. sure all of my white spots are filled in again. I'm leaving some of the area underneath the cat kind of light because I want to add a shadow underneath my kitty. Right. So I pretty much have the background filled in here. Next step is I'm going to go ahead and start to color my cat. Again I'm working light to dark back to front. So I think the first thing I'm going to color are my cat's ears. This nice pink color and my cat's nose here. Alright, next step is I'm going to color in the gray around the cat. So again, my cat's going to be gray. more time to finish your coloring again feel free to pause the video my friends if you're all done coloring go ahead and skip forward leaving some of the spots a little bright here or a little bit lighter because again I'm gonna add some shadows to the bottom of my kitty here I'll show us how we can do that in just a moment, but I am pretty happy with this color that I've picked for my cat. I think it's pretty cool. I think Francisco looks pretty happy. 
out that. So, I think I'm going to add some brown spots to my cap instead of black. And it's brown. Now my cat Francisco here, he likes uh, long naps, he likes yarn balls, and he likes tuna. So uh, he, he's a pretty happy cat there. Alright, and I'm noticing in the background here, I can kind of fill in some of the uh, orange spots or the white spots here. It's never too late to add to your artwork. You can always keep on adding to your artwork. So just because you thought it was done, doesn't mean you can't always go back and edit. Awesome. So now I think I'm pretty much ready for my shadow. So for my shadow, I think I'm going to use a nice blue for the kitty. So I think my shadow is going to go somewhere underneath here. And a little bit underneath the chin. I'm just going to start to color it my shadow. And a little bit on the tail here, a little bit underneath his chin. Alright, I can even mix a little bit of orange in there because orange and blue are complementary colors. So together, when they mix together, they will make a uh, brown color. So I'm gonna take my orange. You see here, it's starting to mix together and make that nice brown. It's starting to make it look a little bit darker. is I'm going to do a shadow on the bottom. So let's go ahead and take my brown. And add the bottom shadow to my kitty here. And add a little bit of this brown to the cat. And so So we have our kitty, we have our background all colored in. I think these are looking amazing artists. I think we all did a great job. So I look forward to drawing with all of you again soon. You guys take care, have a good one. Thank you and goodbye.